Okay, I'll go through uh, the chord sequence first. One, two, three, four, and da 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 C, one bar G, one bar A minor. Okay, so that's that. Okay, first half, second half, da 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 E minor, da 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 G for half a bar, D for half a bar, G for half a bar. Sorry, G for a full bar at the end. Okay. Now, it's one other little trick that you can do on this is pretty handy. Uh, the last D chord you can make a sort of D7 with an F sharp in the bass. So that would go da 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 That sounds pretty cool. Okay, so that's the main chord sequence. Eight bar repeat. Um, one bar on each chord, it's so that little turn around where it goes to G and D at the end on the seventh bar rather. Okay, so uh, let's look at the chords for the other bit. Now, it sort of changes uh, to a minor chord and it goes to D minor and we've got uh, three bars on D minor and then a C. So this is the sort of interlude bit. So it's one and two and three and four. back into uh, into that bit so that's the other the other sequence it's quite tricky that bit is it doesn't f feel dead dead right to go back to C so you've got to sort of uh, make yourself do it that's what I found anyway um, so three bars on the D minor and then one bar on the C and then you're back into this sort of eight bar repeat with the with the tune okay Oh yeah, I should have said earlier on about the uh, strumming pattern as well. A good basic strum is, um, I'm doing it with the thumb and finger, is to catch the root note with your thumb and um, do a down strum with my finger on there. You could do it with a pick either, so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and two and three and four and that's, that's it, okay. Um, now, uh, oh yeah, also should have said cap on the sixth fret. Now we'll have a look at the uh, at the melody line. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, the lead line. So this is the bit that they whistle, uh, and it's also the it's also the tune for the for the track as well, the main tune um, for the singing, and also played on the guitar as well. So uh, let me just go through it, and then I'll break it down. with a pick now um, and if you've got two guitars it's pretty good to do uh, one doing the chords uh, and one doing the lead line. Now the lead line that I'm doing here is a slightly simplified version uh, if you look at the, the guy in the band he's playing um, he's playing uh, some bass notes in there as well so he's doing a sort of finger picking thing uh, but I've gone for a, a, a sort of more simplified one it sounds pretty as I say it sounds pretty good if you have got two guitars and you just uh, you just do this lead line like this. So I'll go through it uh, bar by bar. So the first bar is okay. One and two and three four. Oops, see that there. Okay. Second bar and again. Third bar is the same as the first bar, and now the fourth bar. So this is like got a bit of a tag on the end of it, um, and it's also got a hammer on. This is the this is the bit that you probably need to just concentrate on. Do 
that again. To put those four bars together, okay. Now the second half starts off the same, so the fifth bar is the same as the first bar. Again, that's the sixth bar, and now we change on the seventh bar. Do that again, and then just one note on the eighth bar. So um, play from the fifth bar again. It's also pretty good to do uh, alternate picking with it, so ups and downs, uh, uh, down on the on the beat and up on the up beat. I do that whole thing again, quite slowly. about it. So you just need to listen to the track and then put all the bits together. It's a good one to do. Yeah, especially that D minor bit. That's pretty inventive. That is. I do like that bit.